and NBC is, they're struggling, and, uh, well, frankly, they have to make some sacrifices somewhere. They have to cut back somewhere. Since we are on so late, they come to us first. That's how it works. They don't go to the primetime shows first. They come and see old Coney and chop, chop the budget. <laughs> I'm Coney. Uh, let's make that clear. Anyway, they come here and they chop the budget. Because they go like, look, you're on 1230, you're doing a great job, but come on, we, we got to really cut back everywhere. And anyway, uh, you know, it gets a little annoying. So I thought tonight we'd show you some of the ways that NBC is stripping down our budget in a little piece we're going to call Late Night Budget Cuts. Why is there a gong at the end of that? All right, I'll find out later. All right. Uh, one of the ways NBC is trying to make up for their shrinking budget, listen to this, this is unreasonable, is by selling a portion of our television screen space to other networks. That's right. For instance, listen to this. Last night, the Learning Channel bought 30% of our TV screen space. And when I heard about it, I thought, that doesn't sound, maybe that'll work. I don't know. I tuned in. I thought it was really distracting and hurt our show. Take a look. You know, I was talking about your name up front, and I know we've discussed, but, but, but Chaz is... By the way, that was Chaz Palmentary, and uh, I heard the baby was a girl. Well, lovely baby girl. Now, one place we've cut costs is my wardrobe. In fact, I'm pretty much down to one suit. That's right, just one suit. This is me five minutes before the show. Take a look. Okay, guys, hurry up. I'm on in five minutes. That's great, yeah. Give me a dark blue suit. Great. Maybe some pinstripes. Thank you. Hurry up. Come on. It works, too. It's almost dry. <laughs> uh, okay. The, uh, the budget crunch has also forced us to cut back on the normally luxurious accommodations for our celebrity guests. To save money, I've even had to let some guests stay in my house. Well, we better get some sleep. We have a big show tomorrow. The nice man. Uh, now, uh, cost cutting here at the show means late night with Conan O'Brien will no longer be sponsoring a kids' sports team this year. Very sorry. I'm sorry, kids. Sorry. You should have seen the little bulls. They were really cute. Now, since we have to cut corners, we can no longer afford to pay off the guy who's been blackmailing our trumpet player, Mark Pender. What? You can't do that. He'll go to the papers. Extra, extra, Mark Pender smells. It's over. My life is over. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> That's your fault, Pender. That was going to get huge laughs, but you blew it. There we go. <laughs> Why don't you join those little matadors back there? <laughs> All right. The, uh, the hardest part about these budget cuts is that NBC no longer pays for our office parties. They don't. Well, we here at Late Night like to party. We do. I think you can tell by the quality of the show. So what we've done for the past couple of years is we've had everyone on staff put all the extra change that they come up with whenever they go get a cup of coffee or anything into Bessie. And this money has been building for years and years. Bessie is the late night lockbox. And uh, it's gotten to the point where there's a ton of money in here, folks. So tonight we're gonna uh, open up the little lockbox 
and we're going to throw a huge bash to sort of get morale going, and uh, we're going to have a great party. And <laughs> what the hell? There was there's like 50 cents in here. There should be like thousands of dollars in this box. Who's been in charge of the lockbox? The backstage Larry. Backstage Larry, get him out here. The backstage Larry, get out here. You just work backstage? Yeah. And you have your own theme song? <laughs> yeah. So what happened to all the money in the little lockbox? Hell if I know, dude. <laughs> Hit it! Now, folks, one of the most expensive areas of our show's budget is the money we pay to use the great actor, Abe Vigoda. Abe? Nice. Hello, Abe. You see, folks, over the years, Abe has gotten more and more popular, and his price has gone through the roof. I think he's getting like $50,000 just for this appearance right now. So I'm sorry to say that we're getting rid of Abe Vigoda and replacing him with a new, younger actor who will work on the cheap. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> this year, Late Night will celebrate its 10th anniversary. It's going to be our 10th anniversary, and uh, they were very excited about it. I'm in my late 50s now. And, well, folks, we were planning to do a big 10th anniversary show, but with all the belt tightening and cost cutting, we've had to drastically downsize our plans. In fact, we're just going to do the anniversary show right now very quickly. So enjoy it, because uh, this is all there is. Take a look. Welcome to the best of 10 years of Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Remember this? Liz, can we take a break for a second? My desk's a little wobbly. Uh, Bobby, can you check this out? So, uh, how's it been look to you? Look okay? Huh? Come on, you like it. Where you going? Get back here. We hope you enjoyed the best of 10 years of Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Those are some pretty sweet times. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, Tom Arnold's here. We'll see you in a second. Bye -bye.